Team USA, of course, Usain Bolt said, well, look, you know, we've not been in training for quite as long as you guys, and uh, it's all about who peaks at the right time, and the right time, I guess, for many of these people will be the World Championships in Beijing. So uh, it just spices it up quite nicely, and, of course, you at home and we in the media, we love it, don't we? This is something to talk about, and we all love sporting rivalries. Andrew Fisher, then, goes on the inside lane for Jamaica won the Central American title a couple of years ago. Richard Thompson from Trinidad and Tobago, three Olympic silver medals to his name from Port of Spain, just across the water. Well, Kimar Bailey Cole, the uh, Commonwealth Games champion, was due to race, but he has been replaced by uh, Tequendo Tracy. He goes in lane three. There is a Safa Pal, looking pretty mean and lean, isn't he? Shed a few pounds, maybe. Certainly facially looks very, very fresh indeed. Personal best, of course, 9.72, which at the time was a world record. And uh, how he would love to come to victory and, and get a victory under his belt on home soil. Nesta Carter, fellow countryman, 27 times under 10 seconds he's run, and he was also involved in those relays last weekend. There is the victor from the Bahamas. No wonder he's smiling, and he'll be looking to continue the dominance, the early dominance over the Jamaican team here on their home soil. That would really be rather rubbing their noses in it, wouldn't it? Kamali Brown goes uh, in lane seven, personal best of 9.93, and completing the lineup from another one of these Caribbean islands, Antigua and Barbuda, Daniel Bailey, great competitor, better known as a 200-metre uh, runner, of course, fourth of the World Championships, in 2009 and then fifth two years later so again a field oozing quality and experience the lineup in full from the inside fisher jamaica in one thompson trinidad and tobago in two tracy from jamaica three asafa pal and nesta carter in four and five respectively ryan bailey goes in lane six from america keep an eye out for him kamali brown from jamaica in seven and daniel bailey from antigua and barbuda in lane eight. The men's 100 metres, Jamaica, remember, have already taken the women's from Elaine Thompson. Not quite ready. Not Safa quite Powell sure what the problem was there. No, Safa Chris, Powell didn't even make a, an effort, did he? I think there it was is, him. Well, there was an awful lot of noise in the stadium, it has to be said. Those horns are continually going, and you can hear that general buzz and hum of chit chat around the huge stadium, of course, bigger than most would be because of that. Uh, Velodrome, that cycle track around the outside, which is a 500-metre circuit uh, on the inside lane. But it means the crowd are a little bit more detached from the athletes, and maybe, therefore, they don't appreciate... You know, if, if you're sort of... If it's more um, cosy, I suppose is the word, then, then you, you, you get the feeling that now is the time to be quiet, to shut up and <laughs> listen to the starters' orders. But they're, yeah. they're, they're kind of detached. They are. It's not as intimate as uh, many stadia. Intimate, that's the word I was looking for. The lineup again, Fisher in one, Thompson two, Tracy Jamaica three, Powell and Carter four and five, Bailey in six, Brown seven, Bailey in eight. And they're away they go. Asafa Powell in lane four, rising well, looking good with Nesta Carter for company. Asafa Powell is going to get this one. This is Asafa Powell's night. The old boy is back. 9.82 is the winning time. That sub 10 second barrier for 2015 has indeed been broken. And some, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's taken positions two and three with him but that is rolling back the years isn't it for Asafa Pal my word into his 30s now but that was an extremely good performance on home soil and the former world record holder is in good nick in 2015 well the opposite of last year they had a 1.9 headwind last year tailwind tonight of 1.8 meters per second and that certainly would have helped Asafa Pal Looking in tip-top form, it has to be said. He just does keep coming back. Great shame is that his biggest individual title is the Commonwealth Games in 2006. He's just never produced it when it really matters at a Worlds or Olympics. But he's quick out of the blocks. So too was the man right beside him there, Nesta Carter, in the purple. But look at the way Ryan Bailey finishes here. Really impressive, the big American in purple coming through for a clear second. He ran a fabulous second half, by far the quickest. Trouble is, he entered that second half about two and a half metres down on Powell. I don't know what happened to him in the start there to left a picture. The damage was done, wasn't it, in the first 30 metres by Powell? 
bodies away. And you can see it was a good finish by Bailey, but too much to make up. Sandwich between them, Nesta Carter, who just gets run down there. But look at that trademark high knee lift from Asafa Powell. Quite an outfit as well, isn't it? Almost like uh, Catwoman. Unbelievable, no wonder he's smiling. That was a, an accomplished performance. We're waiting for the confirmed time, 9.82. Uh, Ryan Bailey coming through, as we saw, finishing strongly to take second place in 9.93. There we are, confirmation. Nesta Carter, in the end, having to settle for third place. All three under 10 seconds. 9.84, though, Asafa Powell, the fastest in the world this year.